hello viewers welcome to my video tutorial in this video tutorial i'll be explaining about that first search algorithm you can see that first search algorithm in short you can call it as dfs okay so i hope at the end of this video you'll have a clear concept about dfs but before starting this video uh, I would like to thank all of my subscribers and viewers uh, for giving me enough inspiration because I normally make videos in Bengali language. I have made lots of uh, videos in Bengali language, but many of you from outside of this country like India, UK, USA have requested to me uh, for making some video tutorials in English. This is why I'm trying to make some videos uh, in English language. So if I do any mistake in my language, then please excuse me. Okay, so... Uh, before going to start with DFS, just make sure you have understand about these sort of things like this one is a root node, you can call this one as a root node, this one as a left node, and this one as a right node. But let's say you have more than two nodes under the A node, so B, C, D. Now that's the question, you can understand that this one is root node, but what about left and right? Now you have three nodes. So which one is the left one and which one is the right one? So you are in confusion. So you can consider this one as a left node and these two as right nodes. Okay. Or you can consider these two as left and this one as a right. So it depends on you. However. Okay. So we are going to find out. We are going to find out goal node H from this tree, but we are going to use depth first search algorithm. Remember, we are going to use DFS. Now, how, do, how does the DFS work? That's the question. There are three popular strategies you can follow. I mean, while you are using DFS, you can follow pre-order. Uh, or you can follow in-order. Or you may follow post-order. But... You can see the process. If you follow pre-order, then you have to start with the root node. Then you can go to the left. Then you can go to the right. That means, let's say this one is our tree. Okay. So you can start with the root node. Then you can go to the left. And then you can go to right. That means you're going to start with the root node A. Then you're going to left. Then you're going to right. So this one is pre-order. But what about in order? In, in order, you have to start with the left node. That means I have to start with the left node, B. Then I can go to the root node. That means A. Then I can go to the right node. That means C. But if we use post-order system or post-order strategy, then we can start with the left node. That means from this tree, you can understand. We can start with the left node, B. Then you can uh, follow the right node. That means C. And then you have to visit the root node. That means A. So these are the three strategies you can follow while solving this sort of tree traversing problem uh, in, uh, with DFS. So I'll be using pre-order. I'll be using pre-order strategy because this one is uh, easier, I believe. So you have to start with the root node. Then you can go to left and then you, you can go to right. So you have to give priority to the root node. Then you can go to the left node and then you can visit the right node root left right remember this one root left right okay so let's get start with this example so i have to start with root as i said root node root left right so this procedure you have to remember this procedure root left and then right okay so i'll be start with f i'll be starting with f then you have two options you can go to the left or you can go to the right but as I said, after taking the root node, you have to go to the left. So I'm going to the left. And again, again, the question is, this one is root node. So I have to always give priority to the root node, then left, then right. So I find this one as a root node. So I'll be writing this one. Again, I have to go to the left, not to the right, remember. So I'm going to the left and I find out B. So this one is a root node. That's why I have written B. Again, you can go to the left. So as many times you can go to the left, just keep going. Okay, so this one, A. So you don't have any other uh, any other child here. So you don't have to go to the this way. So you have finished with the root and left. Root and left. You are finished with root, left. Then you can go to the right note. That means you can now write C note. So you finish with this part. Again, you have written the root note. D already and you are finished with this part now you go to go you can go to the right node that means E fine 
So you have finished with this part now. You have finished the root node first, then you visit you have visited the left side. Now you can go left subtree, you can call uh, this one as subtree. Now you, you can go to the right side. So now we're going to visit this side. Then again, when you have come here, you have find out a root node, J. So of course you have to give a priority to the root node. So I've written J. Then now you can go to the left because after root, you have to go to the left. Again, you have come to the left side and again you find out this one is a root node. So you have to write down it, J. Now you should go to the left as I, uh, re as I have written the procedure after visiting the root node, you have to go to the left node. But we don't have any left node in this case. So we have to visit the right node. After root, then you can go to the left, then you can go to the right. So root, but I don't have any left, so I have to visit the right. Again, this one has a root, so I have to pick this one up. And after that, root node, you can go to the left, which one is H. But you don't have any right node, so you don't need to write it down. So remember, you have chosen this node already. You have written it down J, so because this one is a root, and you have finished with you have finished with this part. Now you can go to the right side. That means K. So this is the procedure you can follow. I hope uh, you have understand the procedure. So remember, always you have to uh, give prior to the root node, then you have to visit the left side, okay? And uh, when you come to the left side, again, you find out this one is a root, you have to write it down, then you have come to the, you, you should uh, come to the uh, left side, and again, you find out this one as a root, so you have to take this node, then you can come to the left, and after finishing the left side, then only you can go to the right side, okay? So root, left, right. So you finish, then again, root, you finish the left side, then you can go to the right. Again, you you started with root, node, and if you finish the left side, then you can go to the right side. Again, you, you have come to the right side and you have found out this one as a root node, so you have to write it down, then you can visit the left side. Again, you have finished with this root node, then you can come to the left side, but there is no left node, so you have to go to the right node. And when you came to the I node, that means the right node, you find out this one is a root node as well, root node as well. So you can take this one and after that you can come to the left side. So after finishing this side, you can go to the right side, but there is no right node. So how can you write it down? You cannot write it down. So you're finished up with this one, with this part, and also you're finished with the root node earlier. So now you can go to the right node. So this is how the DFS work. I hope you have understand it very well, inshallah. So if you really uh, like my video, then don't forget to put like on my videos and please subscribe on my channel. And if you have any more requests on any more topics, don't forget to uh, tell me about this. And thank you very much. Uh, that's all for today. In my next video tutorial, I'll be showing you how does the, the limited uh, depth first search work. Okay, so but it will be... Uh, I'll be talking about uh, iterative, uh, iterative deepening search and so on, inshallah. Uh, that's for all today. Allah Hafiz.